In this video, I'll show you how to create affiliate marketing landing page with Builder or landing page builder. All right, so let's get straight into the video. All right, so I'll put the Builder or link in the description box. You can check it out because they have the best pricing on the market when it comes to digital marketing too. All right. All right. So first click on the tools and uh, all right. So this is the mailing boss for the email marketing, but we'll get to that later. So we'll use the Cheetah website builder to create our website. So click on enter. All right. So these are sites I've created already. So to create new, just click on. So if you want to know how to connect a custom domain to a website, I have tutorial and I'll drop it in the description box. All right. Because you need to set those things up before you can do this but i'll use this and i'll create extension landing page on it so i'll create a new page it's gonna be successbusiness.com forward slash this page all right so click on create new i'll name it and for seo purposes i'll name it all right so description i don't want to add any description keywords you can do that but i don't want to so tag references i don't want to do any of that all right so i can create an image for this you can use canva but i don't want to do it now it's not necessary so i'll go up click on save and i'll go in to edit all right so skip this add panel All right, they have a whole bunch, but I'll choose this one. All right, so I don't need this. I'll delete it. All right, and this will be the heading. So close it because, all right, so this page is going to be linked to this uh, website domain. Okay, so close it and paste it. All right, so I'm going to just try and minimize this. Okay, then I'll save. All right, so this is a drag and drop so you can move things around at any time. Now we're going to click outside these lines. Okay. Click on the edit page, background settings, and the color we're gonna use gradient, so which means it's, it's gonna be two colors. Now we're gonna go back, install this Chrome extension, it's called Colorzilla. Hold on. All right, you see the name Colorzilla, okay? Click on it, and I wanna use this. I don't want it to be too strong, okay? Then I'll go back here, click on this, double click, paste it, click on it again, then you click on this i drop thing then go back again click on it again take it and this time we're gonna use this one go back and we've clicked it already okay so double click paste all right boom because i want it to be congruent a little bit with this page i'm gonna change the text to black text color black i'll change the background of this Actually, first of all, I will change these colors to black. So to change the background of this small box, okay, this box, you need you first have to hover and click right in the corner. Click on the edit element with the pencil and background. And this time it's going to be white and it's going to be just one color and we scroll down then click on white
let me save this first that's fine and close all right so next we're gonna work on the button and this time around we are not capturing email address so i'm just showing you how to bridge it because you cannot promote your affiliate link directly on facebook or quora or snapchat even youtube but especially for facebook and quora because that's where you have the best traffic from to do that we're gonna go back here and when you look at this it says sign in so we're gonna change the test to sign in but before we do that i'm gonna copy this okay the color is this okay so we're gonna go back click on this edit and push it up general color click here paste it okay so now we have the right color and click on it again to close it and close this now let's go to the headline so headline instead of action we're gonna type sign in sign in close it subheading and we're gonna highlight and delete it because there's nothing like that close it we're gonna have to minimize it a bit and center let's see how it looks yeah this looks all right and next we're gonna click on it again click on the link so i'll copy this link click copy so right now it's copied and i'll go back click here and paste it you don't want them to open in a new tab because this is just a bridge page open in the same tab but in most cases yeah if they have to read something like extra page then open the new tab is good scroll down select then click on save all the time don't forget that's fine and close it all right so the last but not least is to add affiliate disclaimers because you need that regardless especially facebook if you don't have disclaimers they will just kick you out all right so let's use this i'll drag this and drop it here You can use the disclaimers from this page because you are promoting it for them. But I have my own disclaimers for the website I'm connecting it to. So I'm going to use these disclaimers. So I'll copy everything. So go back here. Oh, sorry. Then I'll click here, highlight everything, and paste it. Center to 2022. That's why sometimes people don't put the date here because that means every year you have to come back and change. And the reason why you have to change it in case you're applying for affiliate programs and they come to check your website and they realize it's not up to date, they will not approve you. But these are just little, little things. Like some companies, they don't care, but some they do. Facebook disclaimer. All right, so I'm going to put Facebook disclaimer here in case I want to promote this. On Facebook too even though I'm gonna use this for free traffic but you want to make sure wherever it's gonna end you're not gonna get into trouble all right so I'm gonna add the links so double click this I'm gonna use these two only so click on this and highlight everything right click copy all right so privacy policy highlight it click on this and paste it here all right so now open in the new tab okay because that one is necessary then i'll go back again to my site click on this click here right click copy go back there click this link paste it in the in the new tab that's good click on save and close it so now i'm gonna add facebook disclaimer okay if i'm just creating a landing page for Facebook. I'll just uh, use this one. Go back and click on this again. Okay, this is good. Click on this center one more time. I love this. I can do whatever I want. All right, so if you click on it like I did and it doesn't work, you just have to uh, click save and wait for like 15 seconds and close it. 
and go back here and click on here again then it's gonna open okay so i'll click save first that's fine and i'll close it all right all right so the trick is i'm gonna change this the last thing i would like to do is we're gonna check the mobile version so click on mobile version okay so this is how it's gonna appear on the mobile click here and edit general all right so on mobile we're gonna keep it like this this gonna go way down okay and this gonna follow Yeah, then I'll go back and I'll save. And I'll go back to mobile and check one more time. Everything is okay. All right, so everything is looking good. Sometimes when you add an image, it's good. Later on, I might add it. Then we're going to go back here. Click on Republish. So when I click republish, everything will republish. Then I'll go to the site and see, go to the website, refresh, boom. All right, so this is how it's gonna be like. It's because it's a page connected to this main website. So the first time when you, when you try to go to the site, it's gonna show you this. Yeah, but don't freak out. All you gotta do is just refresh the page. So this is good, because this is what we use for SEO. And since this is about video editor, that is why I use that. And when you hover this, you can tell the affiliate link is showing down here. Okay, which means the link is good. All right, everything is good. This link is good as well. And this Facebook cannot do anything. Actually, this got to go over here, but it doesn't matter. So when people get here, all they got to do is just click on this link. And boom, they come straight here, okay? When they sign up, you're gonna get uh, your commission, all right? So let me just close this. Yeah, so in my next tutorial, I'll show you how to capture email address for future promotions, and also how to embed a video here. Simplicity works all the time, okay? Don't complicate things, all right? Okay, so this is the end of the tutorial. Thanks for your time. Please like, comment, and subscribe to this channel. Until next time, take care and have a wonderful day. Bye for now.